Let me show you this. Uh, check it out uh, at uh, Cynthia's alma mater. Uh, didn't you go to Thomas Jefferson also? I did. I've, he I've heard that before. We just had our high school reunion on Saturday you had night. Your, your 40th high school reunion. God bless you, Cynthia. You better 81 stop. degrees. It was our 20th. Your 20th, really? <laughs> yes. I know better than that. <laughs> 81 degrees right now with a few overcast clouds in uh, uh, in uh, Denton and Cedar Hill. We have some filtered sunshine. The temp is 79 as we. Look over Joe Pool. Looks like we have one boat out there, possibly. High today was 85, four warmer than the normal high of 81. The morning low 62. That's three degrees warmer than the normal low of 59. Outside right now, it's it's 81 with a south wind at 14 miles per hour. Pollen, we have ragweed, and now we have juniper. Why not? Why not? Let's throw both of them in the mix. Uh, juniper uh, is just kind of getting going. That will last until we green up in the spring, so juniper will only increase its wickedness, I guess you could say, over the next couple of months. Juniper, mountain cedar, it's all kind of all related, and that starts to blow in from hill country with those uh, breezy south winds today. The juniper has blown in. It's ragweed season until we get our first freeze, and then it's juniper and mountain cedar season until we have the green up in the spring. Texas is just a beautiful time of year. And there we are. There's my pollen forecast. Uh, Wednesday and Thursday, it's high. We have north winds on Friday. That's why it goes down to a moderate level, but it's going to be up for the foreseeable future. Right now we have cloud cover across the area. We'll keep the clouds around as we head through tonight. A couple little spotty showers in central Texas. You could certainly see a little bit of rain here at the Texas coast and deep south Texas. We have some showers and that's where most of the precip will stay. And we clear out tomorrow morning, some clouds to start the day, then sunshine as we head through the day. And then here comes a cold front. It's a late week cold front, a late work week cold front. Uh, it won't bring with it any rain. It, it won't bring a massive cool down. It's on top of us Friday morning as it passes by. Cooler temperatures return highs on Saturday and Sunday in the middle to lower 70s. Tonight, warmer than last night. Last night, 62. Last night, this morning, 62. Tomorrow morning, 67. Mostly cloudy skies tonight. Tomorrow we start with clouds and then the sun comes out. I can't rule out a sprinkle tonight or during the uh, early morning tomorrow, mainly uh, in central Texas, mainly Waco and then south. But again, a couple spots could see a sprinkle. That would be it. Mainly dry, breezy, 82 is the high tomorrow. There's the next 14 days. And uh, that cool down, remember that Friday uh, morning cold front allows the temps Friday 81, cooler than Thursday. And then on Saturday and Sunday, Saturday 74, Sunday 73, look at the next seven days. A little bit of rain the middle of next week, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, and then the following weekend, October 21 and October 22. It looks pretty nice as well. So two nice weekends in a row look great.